Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about rational exponent equations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 4b to the negative 3 fourths power plus 10 equals 21 over 2, and we're going to solve this equation. Now, the first thing is, I'm going to subtract a 10 to both sides. Get that over there, we're trying to get b by itself. So we have 4b to the negative 3 fourths power, and that's equal to, well, 21 over 2 minus 10, and 10 as a fraction is the same thing as 20 over 2. Okay? And I did that, so I have the same base, makes it easier to subtract here. Keep on going, we have 4b to the negative 3 fourths power, and 21 over 2 minus 20 over 2 is just a 1 half. That's a little easier to deal with. Now, to get rid of this 4 here, I'm going to multiply both sides by a 1 fourth. These cancel, and we're left with a b to the negative 3 fourths power on the left, but on the right, 1 half times 1 fourth is 1 eighth. So where do we go well, from here? We have b to the negative 3 fourths power. I'm going to raise that to a negative 4 thirds power, and we're going to do that to both sides. B now is by itself because, well, with negative 3 fourths power to the negative 4 thirds power, we multiply the exponents, it comes to be a positive 1. Now here's the tricky part. 1 eighth to the negative 4 thirds power. That's the same thing as the third root of 1 eighth all to the negative 4th power. So let's continue this up here. Well, the third root of 1 eighth, we take the root, or the third root of the numerator and the denominator, and we can do that individually. Well, third root of 1 is 1, so we have b now equals 1 over third root of 8, which is a 2. Lost my spot here. But that's all going to be raised to the negative fourth power here. So where do we go with that? Well, 1 half raised to the negative fourth power is the same thing as 2 raised to a positive fourth power. And what's 2 to the fourth power? Well, 2 to the 4th power is 16. And so my final answer here is b equals 16. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math.